Hi guys! In our today's video, ang gagawin natin is I will teach you on how to evaluate this kind of radical. We have here the given, evaluate the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2 and so on. So as you can see, this kind of radical is a continuous one, hindi natatapos at paulit-ulit lang. So if some of you have encountered this kind of problem, medyo ano na siya, lagi na siyang na-encounter sa mga books o kaya sa mga math competitions. So the question here is, how are we going to evaluate the nested radical? Yun yung name ng ating type of radical today. So first thing you need to do is copy first the given, square root of 2, square root of 2, plus the square root of 2 plus that, that, that is equal to x. I-equate nyo muna or we let x be equal to this expression. I-equate natin yung x natin be equal to the given expression. Second thing you need to do is to copy first this one. Raise the whole equation by 2. I square natin both sides. And then, since we raise the left side of the equation by 2, we can cancel out this radical sign, or the, radicals, the radical, and this one. And then, on the left side of the equation, ang matitira na lang ay 2 plus the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2 plus square root of 2 plus so on. And then, on the right side, we have x squared. As you can see, Meron na tayong quadratic equation. Pero, ito expression na to, kung babalikan natin yung ating first part, sa ibabaw, ito, siya ay equal sa x at pareha sa pareha sila. Meaning, we can substitute this part of the equation by x. So, we have now 2 plus x is equal to x squared. So, kung mapansin nyo, we already have a quadratic equation in which pwede natin siyang gawin pwede natin siyang i-manipulate as 0 be equal to x squared minus x minus 2. And then by factoring, the factors of this equation is just 0 is equal to x minus 2 times x plus 1. So solving these factors, the value of x is simply x minus 2 is equal to 0. The first value of x is 2. And then the other one, you have x plus 1 be equal to 0. We have x is equal to negative 1. So we have here two values of x, which is 2 and negative 1. So mag tayo ngayon. If these two values or two numbers are the right value or correct value for the given Radical. As you can see, we have here a radical. Pag in-evaluate natin yan, it is impossible for us to have a negative answer because that will be imaginary. So, instead of choosing negative 1 as your answer, the possible answer is just x be equal to 2. So, the value of this expression is just 2. So, that's it. I hope you can learn something from, you learn something from this tutorial video about nested radical. Don't forget to subscribe and like our videos. Thank you.